Tech, incredible new album. Thank you, man. Something Strange else. music, the machine gets bigger every year. Yeah, we just um, built a new studio, man, a $4 million project, man. That's what I hear, the best yeah. of the land. Yeah, man. Um, it's beautiful, I'm comfortable in it, you know what I mean? And I, I recorded like um, two songs in it thus far, you know what I mean? Because wow. I've been on the road so long, <laughs> you know, but I've been um, in Canada right before this tour started two days ago, you know what I mean? So. You know, it's a wonderful studio. I'm glad me and Travis put it together like that, you know what I mean? Because we was paying a lot of money to other studios, you know what I mean? So now it can be a revenue source for us as well, you know what I mean? Now here you had a little thing out here in Venice. You got you dug into the doors, the rock thing. Yes, I did. You know, but for, for, for those who... For those that are stuck just in hip hop, let let them know what they're missing, man. With that whole rock world and the, the legends and all that inspiration that's well, out there. Well, thank God for my family, man. Being like uh, eccentric when it comes to music or eclectic, whatever word it is, um, or both. It, it's like because of them, I had rock and roll in the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Because of them, I had blues and jazz and everything and gospel. You know what I mean? But the rock stuck, man. You know what I mean? Throughout my life. And um, me becoming a big Doors fan somewhere in my teens uh, bled over to now, and it inspired me. Strange to, days. To, yeah, it inspired me to call my label Strange Music because I'm such a big fan of the Doors, and I was able to work with them on my new album, something else, and it's uh, monumental to me because these are the people that inspired me to do something great that saved my life, strange music, you know what I mean? So I think it's very important for people to pay attention to music because it can really help you later on in life, you know what I mean? I remember a story, um, we were all in Monaco, we were all somewhere in Monaco, in the middle of Monaco, and you know, it's all rich people in Monaco, mm -hmm. and they speak French in Monaco, and we weren't able to speak it, unfortunately, we were on a nude beach, you know what I'm saying, having drinks. Me, Chris Calico, and I forgot who else was with us. Um, but when you're on a new beach, you know what I'm saying, it ain't nothing but older folks on the beach, you know what I'm saying? So, but we ran into some old birds on the beach and we bought them some drinks. They was on the table next to us. And the only way we could talk to them is if we sang songs and we started singing, break on through to the other side. And they sang it with us. So, you know what I'm saying, we were able to communicate with them through song. It was a wonderful story. And of course, we're hearing you on that brand new number one album by Five Finger Death Punch. Ah -ha, Mama said knock you out. <laughs> yeah, man, it's bleeding over to everywhere, man. I'm, I'm, I'm on BET, uh, 106 in Parker, Backroom Freestyle. Then I'm on Rolling Stone, premiering a new video, Love to Just Like Me. Then you can find me. You know, you, you, they said that um, Five Finger Death Punch was the number one indie and I was right up under them you know what mm -hmm. I mean it was just so wonderful in sales now, but I was on that I was on that album you know what I mean this how'd you end up collaborating with him um they contacted strange music and said we wanted tech <laughs> and when I was on my last tour in Vegas I went to their studio yeah. and I did that shit I did what they told me to do you know and I added a little bit of meat <coughs> to it <coughs> and it went wonderfully you know what I'm saying much love to Ivan and the whole crew yeah whole crew we'll, we'll take us inside the mindset because it's still so many people sitting out there waiting for a record deal, waiting for a record, de you know, label. So the mindset is get up and go. Do it yourself if you can. If you have the means. If you have a job, you have the means. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but it's hard for people to use their own money. And so I understand that. Who's going to believe in yourself more than yourself? I mean, who's going to believe in you more than you? Nobody, impossible. man. Impossible. So you know exactly where your music should go. And that's why Strange Music exists because I was on <coughs> major labels. And um, they didn't know where to put me. And I didn't want to do that anymore. And who better to do me than me? You know, thank God for Travis O'Gwen finding me and say, let's do this together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as far as your day-to-day, your, your -day, I know it goes from creative to business. You're pushing these envelopes, you know, from the rock to the classics to hip hop to the tours. Now you got this roster that you're building. Just, just talk about that mindset where every minute, every day, you, you know, you're plugging something into that creative mind of yours. Well. The reason why we have to keep going and putting putting layers on top of layers, you know what I mean, is because we're planning for the future. We want this to be one of the biggest labels ever.